It's story time with Ms. Richardson. It's story time. Welcome. Today we're going to read a book, Officer Buckle and Gloria. It's by Peggy Rathman. If you look at the cover, that will give you an idea of what this story is going to be about. On the cover, we have a picture of a dog named Gloria. We have an officer named Officer Buckle, and we have kids all around. Looks like he's giving a special speech. Want to find out what this story is all about? But before we get started, if you look on the corner of this book, you're going to see that this book won the Caldecott Medal Award. That means that the person who drew the art pictures in this book was recognized for great art. That's a great thing to know. So here we go without further ado. Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Natville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Some people don't even know what a swivel chair is. It's a chair that has wheels on the bottom. And if you stand on a swivel chair, you're going to really hurt yourself. And that's what Officer Buckle is doing on this picture. Be careful, Officer Buckle. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Natville School. Nobody ever listened. Isn't that sad? Sometimes there was even snoring going on. And look, somebody threw a paper airplane at him. Isn't that sad? Look at everybody with their legs hanging over. They're not even watching him. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Tapel, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Tapel didn't hear him. Look at her standing on that swivel chair. And do you know I see other things on this page that look scary and they aren't safe, like the little boy who's tripped over his shoestrings. And I see water on the floor. It looks like someone slipped. And look, there's a thumbtack. Could you imagine if somebody step, stepped on that? And look, that little girl's holding all those books. One of them fell and bumped somebody right on the head. Whew, they better watch things at Natville School. Then one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, guess who went along? Gloria. And look here. I'm looking on the police car, and I see the letter K and I see the number nine, K9. Did you know that stood for dogs? That stands for dogs. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. Guess what? Gloria sat. Wow, that's a good dog. Does your dog do that? Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. And the children sat up and stared. They didn't do that before. Why are they doing it now? Look at this picture carefully. There's someone on stage with Officer Buckle. It's Gloria, and she looks silly. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. That's a good dog. Wish my dog would do that. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. And the children's eyes just popped. Why? Because look at that silly dog. That silly dog is acting like she slipped. She's on her head. That's hilarious. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Hmm, I wonder what it was. I wonder what it is. Let's turn the page and find out. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Why did they roar? Look at that dog. 
Gloria is acting like she sat on a thumbtack, and look how high in the air she is. She's acting so silly, it's funny. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and they cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. It's making me laugh. Look at Gloria. Look at all these positions she's in. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. I think Gloria is making a difference. Don't you? The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. Look at all those letters. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. It looks like every one of those letters has a picture or a drawing of Gloria. Wow. And look at the bulletin board behind Officer Buckle. He's got all these safety tips and all these little notes. He's a pretty busy man. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawings showed a lot of imagination. Let's read this one. Dear Gloria and Officer Buckle, thanks for coming to our school. You are nice. Your friend, George. Hey, George did a really good job drawing Gloria. The other pictures of Gloria look good too. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. That's safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phones just started ringing. Grade schools and high schools and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Look at these people. Look at the pictures of them. Everybody's calling. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please, bring along that police dog. Look at Officer Buckle on the phone. Who is he busy? Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Wow, that's a lot of schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. And look at Gloria in this picture. She's jumping up in the sky, in the, in the air. And look at Gloria here, laying on her back. This dog is so funny. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. I didn't know dogs ate ice cream. I bet that dog loves eating ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. And look up here. While Officer Buckle is getting the ice cream for Gloria, look, she's signing autographs. She's signing her autograph for all the kids, and they're all running. That's funny. They're all running towards her. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. Whoo, that's, that's something special. Look, I see these big, these large cameras, movie cameras. And I see people in the back with binoculars. They want to make sure they get a good view of Gloria and Officer Buckle. That's a big deal, you know. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. And if you see Gloria on this page, you would applaud too because Gloria is looking like she's being electrocuted. She looks silly. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. Do you know I see something on Officer Buckle's shirt? It's a red circle. It's a picture of a banana peel in the center of the circle with a red line going through it. That means no banana peels should be around, especially on the floor. And do you know some of the kids had that same circle with the banana on their shirts? Because they know you could do what on a banana peel? You could slip and really hurt yourself. 
that night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. Look, he's sitting there having popcorn. And Luria, I don't know, she's looking at him like maybe she wants some. But if you look at his living room, look at his shelves. He's got trophies, safety plaques and ribbons. And you know what's really funny? Look what's keeping his books up. Look what's keeping his books from falling down. He's got bookends and those, they're on each end of the books. They're holding the books up and they look like Gloria. They're like little Gloria bookends. Isn't that cute? Wow. The next day, the principal of Natville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. But Officer Buckle frowned. I wonder why. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Tapel. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Now, how do you think that made him feel? They want Gloria? I think he's sad. Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. Guess who else fell asleep? The audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. Look at the bottom of this page. I see a container of banana pudding, and it's all over the floor. I wonder what's going to happen. That's not a good sign. Let's turn the page and find out. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. I told you. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Tapel, who screamed, and she let go of her hammer. The hammer went flying in the air. Is that a good thing? No. Do you know what else I see up there with the hammer flying through the air? A thumbtack. Wow, that is really scary. If someone steps on that or sits on that, ouch! Look at the children. They're all slipping and sliding in the banana pudding. And you aren't going to believe this. Mrs. Tapel is standing on a swivel chair. You know, one of those chairs with wheels. That is so dangerous. Oh, so many people are going to get hurt. I'm worried. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Remember? Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose, and Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Wonder what it is. Think about it. Let's turn the page to find out. Safety tip 101. Always stick with your buddy. That's right. That's a great tip. Work as a team. Work together. Wasn't that a hilarious book? Officer Buckle and Gloria. I wish I had a dog that could do tricks like that. I have to remember my safety rules too. That's very important. That's what this book is about, making sure you're safe. You do not want to stand on a swivel chair, do you? Never. And if you see someone standing on a swivel chair, give them some advice. Say, be safe. Don't stand on a swivel chair. And you've got to make sure too, no banana peels on the floor. And there's so many other safety tips. You can help others by reminding them about being safe. No hammers, no thumbtacks, no electrical plugs getting wet, or water on the floor. Remember those things? And you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this hat. It's not a nurse hat. It's not a postman's hat. It's a police officer's hat because I wanted to be just like Officer Buckle, because I like this story. I look forward to seeing you again. 
Join us for story time.